Hi guys, it's Claire and I just wanted to share something with you because I know that when you start on a new challenge or a new path for yourself and you set some great goals and you're working towards them, that sometimes comes a point during the process, especially if it's in within a certain time frame, that you hit a low or you might be feeling demotivated and you get yourself into a bit of a rut and um, it feels ever so frustrating and it's difficult to know how to get yourself out of it. So what I wanted to do with you was share with you some of my top tips for getting yourself out of that demotivated, unmotivated rut that you might have got into. And I know that's something that some of you may be experiencing right now. So I'm hoping that some of these suggestions might help. The first thing that I want you to do is to really reconnect with your goal. More importantly, I want you to really connect with the why of you, your goal. What is it that you're trying to achieve and why are you trying to achieve it? What is it about that goal that is so important to you that you're even on this journey in the first place? The second thing I would do is really accept that you can't operate at 100% all the time. In any journey, there are highs and lows, and I think it's frustrating when you have a low and you have a setback, uh, but that's okay because you have to accept that that is gonna happen, and we can't expect the journey to be perfect, and um, you can't always go from, you know, if, if plan A doesn't work, uh, there are 26 letters in the alphabet. So we can go to plan B, plan C, plan D, all the way through to plan Z. So uh, just bear that in mind. I think the other thing is to be realistic with yourself. Um, it's great to have a, a, a target and, you know, if it's not working, just be check it again, check in with your realism. Um, is it as you want to be? Is it achievable? Is it realistic what you're trying to achieve? Is this something, if you have a setback, is it something that you might have expected? Um, and don't feel guilty about it. Sometimes these things happen and it, yes, it's frustrating. You think, oh God, what did I do wrong? What could I have done differently? And you know what? Sometimes when the motivation is low, you just got to think, well, was I being realistic with that? And if that's, if, if you weren't, then then just change path, just or just lower your slights a little bit in the first place and then you can reconnect it or just set yourself a short small task that you can do to get yourself back in the groove so to speak and um, the other thing that I suggest that you do when you're feeling unmotivated is to um change environment get up go out go for a coffee meet a friend go to the cinema do something different get out of the space that you're in and just shut down for a while. Just, it's okay to do that. It's okay to take time out and that's absolutely fine that you can um, step out, step out of the room and just do something different. Go for exercise, exercise is really good for getting your endorphins going. Um, and yeah, do something different. Do it with friends, somebody that you can have a laugh with, a bit of fun, somebody who can get you back on track. But on that, on that note, it's about also getting support from somebody who has maybe tried to achieve what you're achieving and who has been in a similar place before and perhaps who knows how you might be feeling. So check in with them. And if you're part of any groups on Facebook, on um, on LinkedIn, or somebody, connect with somebody that you know might be sharing the same experiences, and and try and work a way out of the situation with those people. Take a day off. Um, I've done that before. I've gone. You know what? I just can't do this anymore. I I focused. I focused. Focused. It hasn't worked out. Let's just take a day out. Let's chill down. And my, you know, this is the other thing. I love this. This is a friend, um, a friend of mine, Shelley Whitehead, gave me this, and it's my snow globe. And actually, when you're feeling unmotivated, you go, "Well, what did I do wrong? And and how could I have done it better?" And 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 sometimes it's just nice to let the snow and the noise settle and let a new plan emerge. And the most important thing, I think, is be flexible. Be kind to yourself. It's okay to be flexible. And we can't operate at 100% all the time. So just, that's fine. Be flexible. Regroup. Rethink. New strategy starts fresh. The other thing that I love, that I'm going to post this link on my Facebook page. Um, but there's a brilliant lady called Amy Cuddy. And she talks about power posing, about changing your energy state. And how if you use your body in a different way then you can often change how you think and how you feel and therefore how you behave. So I'm gonna post that link um, after this video as well. 
And I also want you to get into the habit of celebrating your successes and reviewing on a regular basis what you're doing and how you're doing it. And those, every single little success that you have along the way is really important. And just look back when you're having a down moment and say, right, okay, look how far you have come. Look at what you have achieved and start afresh from them. So I hope that helps a bit and if you have anything you want to share with me then please post it in my Facebook group and certainly I will be there to help you, I'm there to support you and if there's anything that I can do that I think can get you unstuck a bit then you know come and ask me, I'm here to help. Alright guys, lovely to talk to you tonight and I'll speak to you soon. It's Claire from I Wish I Can I Will and so can you.